Hi, I'm Gigi, an ex-Amazon senior leader and bar racer. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Amazon mini loop. So the mini loop comes about after a special set of circumstances. Now, the majority of candidates will never face an Amazon mini loop, but it is possible that you will. And I'm guessing that's how you found your way to this video. So it's definitely worth knowing what it's all about. As you know, if you make it past the early rounds and assessments in your Amazon interview process, you will face the final round or panel, loop, whatever, whatever anyone wants to call it. What most of you won't know is that it is possible to get an inclined outcome, i.e. They, they think you're raising the bar, but they don't think you're they haven't offered you the job. And there are a couple of scenarios that can lead to that outcome. The first is just plainly, you're just not the right fit for, for a role. Um, you know, that's because although your interviewers think you're raising the bar at the level you're applying for, they've decided that, you know, you just don't have the right functional skills or demonstrated top scoring strengths in the leadership principles that are most critical for that role. Um, the next one is that, you know, someone else just got the role. Um, it, it, this happens when they either decide to fill the role with an internal candidate or maybe an offer was extended and accepted by a candidate who was like, like a, a fraction ahead of you on the conveyor belt that is the Amazon interview process for that role. If you don't know, Amazon has a policy of interviewing on a roll until an offer has been accepted. So at this point, they've decided that you would make a great Amazonian, but they don't have a role for you. So your recruiter should try and help you find an alternative role that seems a good fit for you. Or if they're busy, they may tell you to take responsibility for finding an alternative for yourself. My advice is that you know, even in a situation where a recruiter offers to help you, you should really kind of still be proactive in looking for an alternative role for yourself. So if you or your recruiter find an alternative role and the recruiter and hiring manager for that role want to interview you, it's then that you could be invited to an Amazon mini loop. The Amazon mini loop is you know what, it's just essentially a condensed version of a proper Amazon interview loop. You'll usually only have around three interviewers and best of all, in this case, no bar raiser, yay! So the format, it's just gonna be exactly the same as your previous loop with functional and behavioral competency, competency questions as befits your job family. Now, a common question I get about the Amazon mini loop is if you can reuse the stories that you used in your full loop. So in this case, my recommendation is yes. Uh, and I don't often say that, but it is unreasonable for Amazon to expect you to have gone through the entire interview process with all of those questions asked and still have a reserve of good, unused, untapped examples. So that's it. That is really all you need to know about the Amazon mini loop. It is not that complex. If you found it helpful and you'd like to help other candidates benefit from my advice, please do give this video a bit of a like and or drop some comments in below. Now, what you need to do is click the link here to claim your free Day One Careers Customer Obsession Taster Course. Watch that and you'll nail every customer obsession question asked of you in your Amazon interview. Or, if you want to do that a little bit later, why don't you check out more here of our incredible insights and advice on Amazon interview preparation.